Hi there, so I just wanted to show you a new function called Excel Sheet to Array which hopefully as its name suggests can be given a, an Excel file name and a sheet and an array and basically it will read the sheet all the contents of the sheet into an array and the beauty of this command is that Excel does not need to be installed so you do not need Microsoft Office on the machine so it doesn't actually connect to Excel or open Excel up it actually natively reads the Excel file and it'll work with XLS and XLSX files so I have some code here Excel sheet to array and it's referring to a file called example.xls which is in the script directory it's one that comes with macro scheduler and I'm asking it to retrieve the contents of sheet 1 and I want to put it in an array called XLR. So let's just step through that and see what happens. So we step past it and now you'll notice something else that's new in this version of Macro Scheduler. We have the XLR array variable appear in the watch list here and you'll notice that it says array with a little expansion symbol. So whereas before the entire array contents would appear in the watch list which could slow debugging down especially if the array was very large because obviously the watch list would have to update all the time in this case that's all we see and if we double click on that we then see the contents of the array and all we need to do is double click anywhere there to go back so if I step through you can see that I've got some code here that will check to see if there's any data and then loop through and pull some information out so we'll just step through that so here we're just going to get the first item as the item code and the price so that's getting the data from our array and if I keep going I get the next one and the next one and so on so you can see how it's a really nice quick way of getting data out of Excel it's fast you don't need Excel to be installed you get access to all the data and you've seen the fancy new array structure in the watch list which saves a load of time. And there you go.